Hello everyone. In this short video we're going to take a look at order of processing for Civil 3D corridors. Specifically we're going to look at comparing horizontal and vertical targets to super elevation. I had a customer ask me this week if I have a profile control or profile target would that override my super elevation slope. So let's kind of back up and look at horizontal and vertical targets compared to super and then at the end we'll look at a couple other little tips and tricks with regards to super elevation edits. Let's get started. So you can see here I have a horizontal alignment on the right side. I've got a corridor already built. I have no targeting horizontal or vertical. On the left I have a section view. Bottom left I have a section view at station 5. You can see the super elevation. I'm in full super at this point. So this alignment has user defined curves allowing me to build super. And I have my assembly up at the top. So let's start with a horizontal offset. I'm going to go to click on the alignment, go to offset alignment, and my lane is at 12 foot to the right. I'm going to add an offset to 20. I'll just call this right offset. Nothing on the left, no display on labels. You can see it here. So let's go ahead and apply that. Go to properties of the corridor, set all targets, make sure we get the right side. Right offset, add. Okay, okay, rebuild. Let's take a look at the results. So looking at the section view, you can see that the super elevation started. So the lane was super elevated at the full super rate of 4%. And then the horizontal offset of that outside edge of pavement was stretched out to meet the horizontal target. And I think most people would expect that. You know, most people would expect a horizontal target not to override the super or pull the super out of shape. So that's good. So we verified that. Let's look at profile targets now. I'm going to go over to the profile view. I'm going to select my profile. Let's make a copy. So I go to the geometry editor, make a copy over the entire length. I'll close that now. And now I'm going to select the new alignment. I'm sorry, the new profile. Go to the properties. We're going to change the name, right off profile, and we'll change the style to right offset. And last but not least, with it still selected, we'll go to the geometry editor, raise lower, and we're going to raise or lower this negative one foot, so one foot down, and we're done. As you can see in red here now, I have a new profile, which is one foot down from the profile grade line. So this is tied to the horizontal alignment, or, ba or horizontal baseline. Let's go back to my control, or my corridor, sorry. We're going to set all targets, and now on the right side elevation target, we're going to try to target that right offset profile, and rebuild. Let's see what happens. So you can see here I'm at 20 foot offset, and my elevation at the profile grade line it's 495 or 4995.11. So the elevation here is one foot below. You can see it annotated. So that would make my slope uh, one foot over 20 foot of run be 5%. So we verified here that the profile target is completely overriding our super elevation. And knowing that can be very beneficial to us. So we could see if we didn't want to edit our super elevation control lines in some situations. We could actually go and build a profile in certain areas and change or override that super elevation cross slope. So that's good to know. Let's go remove the horizontal target now. Make sure that we get the expected results. So I'm going to deactivate the horizontal target. So that should take our lane width back to 12 feet. Zoom in. So again, one foot at this edge, we're one foot below, but at a 12 foot offset, that would pull the slope down to minus 8.33. So one foot in 12 is exactly what we expected here. Super elevation is applied, no horizontal offset, then the profile target brings the elevation down to lock whatever that profile elevation is. And the slope is just whatever it turns out to be. Okay, one last thing, just want to show a little tip that could help you from time to time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract 
a super elevation profile basically from the uh, corridor that I create and I'm going to use that to make edits so I'll show you what I mean here let's go back to my targets I'm going to turn off all targets okay so we're back to where we started and now I'm going to select the corridor with a right click select I'm going to extract corridor feature line and we know all the entire corridor I want to turn everything off and just select the right side edge of travel very important here to check the settings make sure this is off I can give it a name and a style extract so that's done now let's add that feature line to the profile view so I click the profile view we're going to go project objects let's find that new feature line that we built should be right on top of the edge of travel there it is we'll hit enter and styles good hit OK let's take a look make sure it showed up and we'll find our station 5 so again right now we have basically a super elevation profile so we created a feature line that exists down this edge of travel which again is in super elevation so it's at the correct elevation for all of my super of the corridor so let's go back and target that set targets right side we'll do feature lines select from drawing I can even select it in profile view okay okay and rebuild so nothing changes because it's the same elevation but now if I select the feature line and edit that in profile view when I rebuild my corridor and I'll set it to rebuild auto now you can see in the the bottom left here my or you can watch my slope change one other interesting thing is let me escape here and go back to the properties set all targets I'm going to go back to profile target I'm going to pick my route off again and notice we've got a choice when we have two profile targets or vertical targets I can target to nearest or farthest and let's start with the nearest offset so the nearest offset would be the profile that's at the center line right which was my one foot drop that I just selected so we should be back to our minus 833 and we are if I go back and change it, and of course any change to this feature line will not affect it now if I go back and flip that setting let's do farthest offset the furthest offset would be obviously the new feature line because it's 12 foot over and now you can see my corridor is back being controlled by that feature line that I extracted and now I'm using in a profile view similar to editing the way I would my super elevation view but instead I'm doing this as a profile my goal today was to take a look at the order of processing for corridors with regards to targets and super elevation I hope this has been beneficial